What's going on everybody? This is Phil from Millennial Money Games and we are back with a brand new video. In today's video we are going to be doing a whole Robin Hood portfolio update. I haven't done one of these in a while. I have started getting back into dividend investing. If you guys know, if you guys have been following me for a while, I was in dividend investing back early on when I first started this channel. That is when why I got into starting YouTube in general. I just wanted to go over my portfolio. But we're getting back into dividend investing with a brand new portfolio that I just started this month. In this video, we are going to go through this whole portfolio and explain why I am holding each of these stocks and how much of a dividend I expect to receive from them. So if you guys are hyped for this video, please make sure you smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. It really does help out the channel, and I would really like to grow this channel. Also, if you want to join the family, hit that subscribe button down below. As I stated in my past couple of videos, I will be releasing something where you can view every single trade that I am doing. I will let you guys know as soon as I make the trade and it will be 100% free, so make sure you look out for that. Turn your post notifications on, that way you can stay updated on that. But without further ado, let's get started. All right guys, so this is my portfolio here. I am just going to be doing a voiceover for this just to make it nice and easy for everyone. But this is the portfolio. So I have $4,661 right now in the portfolio. I'm down almost 3% today just because I had some risky calls in there. But I will be fading out the options and just putting this one strictly as dividend investing. So let's hop right into the dividends. So first up here, we have AT&T, ticker symbol is T. AT&T is currently sitting around $28.71. It is down 0.25% on the day. And let's see. So I have 27 shares with a market value of $775. The average cost of my shares is $29.54. And this is currently 16% of my portfolio. So right now it is big, but I wanted a big starter position in AT&T. Today's return, I am down two dollars, just about two dollars, and total return, I'm down almost three percent, which is about twenty-two dollars. So, if you guys don't know, AT&T does have about a seven percent dividend yield, which is very high. AT&T has been giving out these dividends for a while now. I do believe they are a dividend king, if not a dividend aristocrat, but. AT&T, for those of you that do not know, they are a holding company which engages in the provisions of telecommunications, media, and technology service. It operates through the following segments, communication, Warner Media, and Latin America. So that's the first one, AT&T. Just a starter position there, but and liking it. Moving on, we have Realty Income. Ticker symbol is O. This is one of my favorite REITs to invest in, which is a real estate investment trust. This is my favorite one, and this is also considered the monthly dividend stock right here. So, like I said, they do pay a monthly dividend, which is nice. So right now I have just over 15 shares. That other 0 0.04 is from my drip, which I will go over later in the video. So I have a market value of $1,000 and about a little over a thousand dollars my average cost is sixty five dollars and ninety three cents and this is twenty two percent of my total portfolio so big position in O. and that's just because i bought it right at a line of support so i wanted a pretty sizable position in comparison to the rest of my portfolio today's return i am up just over four dollars and total return i'm up just over three percent at thirty three dollars so they pay a monthly dividend of just about 4%, which comes to about 23 cents per share, I believe. So for those of you who don't know, Realty Income is a real estate company which engages in generating dependable monthly cash dividends from a consistent and predictable level of cash flow from operations. So very 
very big on realty income. I like to add here, even when the stock is not down, but especially when it is down every red day, I will be adding more into realty income. Next, we have another REIT. This is NRZ, New Residential Investment. It's currently sitting at $10.53. The reason I bought this one, if you go look at the five-year chart, it's sitting still below COVID levels, pretty almost by 50, 50 100% sitting below COVID levels, just around 70% or so. So that is why I bought this one. This one is a REIT which is based in New York City. So as you guys know, Manhattan has been struggling lately. But I do think it will be bouncing back once this pandemic ends. All big cities will come back. So I'm loading up on this one. So I have a total of 65 shares, market value of $684. My average cost is $10.60, and it is about 14.7% of my portfolio. Today I'm up just over $2, and my total I am down just about five dollars let's less than one percent nrz has a quarterly dividend of around six percent or so so like i said new residential investment corporation is a real estate investment trust which focuses on investing and actively managing investments related to residential real estate it operates through the following segments or origination, servicing, MSR related investments, residential securities and loans, consumer loans and corporate. The company was founded in 2011 and headquartered in New York, New York. Moving on, next we have another REIT, AGNC. And the reason I bought this one, I bought them recently on their last dip. So before COVID, they they went up to just over under $20. And I bought them on just on this recent dip. So I have 11 shares. They're currently sitting at $16.80. I have a market value of $184.86. Average cost is $17.06. This is about 4% of my portfolio. And they are another monthly paying dividend. My today's return, I am down just about three dollars, and total return, I'm down just under three dollars as well. So their dividend is quite high for eight point three six percent, as shown on Robinhood. Moving on to what AGNC is, it is like I said, it's a REIT. It primarily invests in agency residential backed. Mortgage-backed securities on a leverage basis. So that is AGNC, another monthly paying dividend. Next up, we have Iron Mountain. Ticker symbol is IRM. Iron Mountain is currently sitting at $42.32. I have eight shares of this at a market value of $338.56. Average cost of $42.83, and it is about 7% of my portfolio. Today, I am down $4, which is just over 1%, and total return, I am down $4.18, just over 1%. IRM pays a quarterly dividend of just about 5%. What exactly is Iron Mountain? They engage in the provision of storage and information management. It operates through the following business segments, blah, blah, blah. North American Records and Information Management Business Segment offers record management, destruction, and fulfillment services throughout U.S. and Canada. The North American Data Management Business Segment handles data protection and recovery server and computer backup services. So that is Iron Mountain, ticker symbol IRM. Next, I have another monthly paying dividend, which is GLAD, G-L-A-D. It's currently trading at $11.35. I have 15 shares of GLAD, market value of $170.25. My average cost is $11.41, with a, mar a portfolio diversity of about 3.66%. Today, I am down a dollar on it. 
and total return I am down 85 cents. So they pay a pretty sizable dividend of 6.87%. Gladstone Capital Corporation is a business development company which invests in debt and equity services consisting primarily of secured first and second lien terms loans to lower middle market businesses. That is GLAD, ticker symbol GLAD. And that wraps up my portfolio here. So I will keep you guys updated on this one. Hopefully I will do a weekly basis I will be trying to add to this portfolio on a weekly basis and I will give you guys some info and updates when I do change major things on this. But hopefully I will be able to do this portfolio update on a weekly basis so that way you can see how much my income is growing and going from there. We are going to bring this recording all the way to track your dividends this is not sponsored but they are the website that i use to keep track of all my dividends so let's go check that out all right guys so this is trackyourdividends.com i will leave a link to them in the description below like i said i am not sponsored but i do find their platform very helpful and i think it will be helpful to all of you guys as well so i will Put that link in the description below if you guys want to check them out but just going down the list here that so they show my portfolio sitting around three thousand one hundred and seventy eight dollars i have a dividend yield of just over six percent and my annual income will be about 198 dollars as of this moment so just going down the list here ag and c with my 11 shares i will be bringing in an annual income of $15.84. GLAD, with my 15 shares, I will be bringing in an annual income of $11.70. Iron Mountain, 8 shares, I will be bringing in almost $20 in annual income. NRZ, with 65 shares, I'll be bringing in $52 in annual income. Realty Income, I'll be bringing with 15, a little over 15 shares. I'll be bringing in $42.50 in income. And AT&T with 27 shares, I'll be bringing in $56.16 in income per year. So I love how they have this little chart here. So we're going to bring this up. And this shows exactly how much I make each month so as you can see in june i will be bringing in six dollars in dividends in july 24 in august 20 and then september restarts that pattern six dollars so obviously i need to work on those few months there every third month because i'm only earning six dollars compared to 24 and 20 in the other remaining months but in order for me to get reliable income from this i will be gonna keep reinvesting my dividends and this is called drip dividend reinvestment plan and if you turn this on this is available i think in all brokers then it automatically reinvests those dividends into their respective companies so say i get a dividend of six dollars by nrz that six dollars is going to go right back into nrz and buy a fractional share of that this is how your money keeps compounding and how your portfolio grows if you do not want to put the money back into nrz for example you can take the, you can shut off the dividend reinvestment plan take that six dollars and put it into something else but what i am doing i will be reinvesting all my dividends that way the money grows over all grows over time so there is a spot here which I want to show you guys if I can find it. It's future value. So this is a really neat chart. So in 10 years, if I left this alone, my portfolio value will be in 2030, $6,780, which is just 113%. 
and my annual income will be $489. Now, if I put this to 25 years, in the year 2045, my portfolio value will be $29,378, an increase of 825%, annual income of $2,706. And that is if I just keep it alone right now. This is without putting any more of my own money into it. So this is very exciting for me. I'm hoping to add at least 100 bucks a month to this portfolio on a consistent basis. Hopefully, we'll be able to do more than that. But that's what I'm hoping for. Very exciting to see these numbers. Just see the exponential growth here. I'm very excited for that. So everyone, go go check out Track Your Dividends. I know my boy J.J. Buckner is doing a similar website to this. So, and when he does come out with that, I will look into that. And let me, I'll see how it is for you guys before you guys have to try it out on your own. And I'll do a review of it when it does come out. But that will be all I have to say for this portfolio update here. So I hope you all enjoyed that update on my new dividend portfolio. Like I said, I was in dividends for back in the day and I did that for a while, but then kind of stayed away from the dividends for a bit, but I'm going back to into it and I am going to be doing this for the long term. Like I said, I just started doing it again this month and I am getting right back into it. So if you guys did like the video, please make sure you just show me and smash that like button. I really do appreciate that. Also, join the family. Hit that subscribe button down below. That way you can just watch all of my videos and we can become rich together. We are growing as a family. And I would like to continue to grow and help you all out. But with that being said, I am going to be wrapping up this video here. I appreciate you all for spending a couple minutes of your day with me. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.